Hello all, I'm back today to do a new video. Today I'm going to be a little bit premature because it's not the end of the year yet and do my five star reads from 2014. I've read close to 200 books this year already. I'm hoping to get to 200 by the end of December. And today I'm going to talk you through the very, very best ones that I've read. I am in my pyjamas because quite honestly, I'm now at that point in the year where weekends are about sitting on the sofa in my pyjamas and never leaving. I don't even care anymore, if we're honest. Right, so, here we go. Five star reads, all awesome, all thoroughly recommended. I can't speak today at all. Um, recommended. First one. Um, Accidental Life of Jesse Jefferson. Jefferson. I discovered page two very late last year, and within about two weeks I read her entire backlist, ready for this to come out. It was just as wonderful her as her adult books, and if you like her other adult books, you will adore this one. No Secret, I'm a Sarah Manning fan. This one was just fabulous. I like the main relationship between the girls in this book because I can remember knowing girls like that and having exactly the same issues going on. Um, perfectly Sarah Manning, just bang on. This book is wonderful. Um, edited by my lovely friend Non and she sent it to me because she said that I would love it and I did. It's just perfect, it's just diverse and wonderful and you should all just buy it because it's brilliant. I love catnip. Catnip publisher do some kick-ass books if we're honest. All of them are great. Um, next five star read. Hi so much Darcy Burdock. It was always going to be five star because I love Darcy. It's just wonderful. Uh, another five star read is Bubble Rat Boy by Phil Earl. I love Phil Earl's books generally anyway, but this one was so funny and just so cute and I really liked the mum because I can exactly see the sort of things she does and how crazy she is, but how it all comes in this really good place. It was just wonderful. Um, oh, American Entrant onto the list. There's only two actually, most of these are UKYA, which is fabulous. Um, Midsummer Night's Dream by Cody Keplinger. I've probably said that wrong. I like her contemporary stuff. I think it's spot on. It's possibly because she's so young and she's writing about it, but it means she gets it and it's just wonderful. A Kiss in the Dark by Cat Clark. It's just fabulous. It, it, it sort of deals with the whole idea of not trying to stereotype and put a label onto sexuality and the fact that people just fall in love with people rather than falling in love with genders. It's wonderful. This will be no surprise, Trouble by Non. I love it. I can't wait for her next book. This is actually a reread in this year because I liked it so much. I love Neville. I just do. It's wonderful. Say Her Name by James Dawson. Again, James Dawson's always a five star read for me. Um, I think his reading, writing's really, really witty and clever. And this is really scary. I did not like the scary. Um, another wonderful little read from Catnip again because Catnip are just wonderful. Um, Starring Kitty by Keris Stainton. I love Keris. I just think she's wonderful on every level and I love this book. It's just fantastic. Um, another Catnip. Widows vs Bum Skulls by Natasha um, Desborough. It's just so funny. I like it. If you if you like, um, like Louise Redison's that series, you'll like this better because it's better. Generally, it's just better. I love this one. Robin Stevens, Murder Most Unladylike. It's just awesome. It's just awesome. It's the inner child that I have that adored Ina Blyton and read it religiously. This is who it appeals to and adores it. And it's just wonderful. Just buy it. Oh, Lisa Glass, Blue. I, I love this one. It made me want to read all the surfy books and I found there were no other surfy books that I liked. Which wouldn't really help. But it's wonderful. And it's set in New Key and it's got hot boys and I want to read it again really soon. And it's been made into a film. It's just good. Um, not a novel, but James Dawson's This Book is Gay. From school point of view, I thought it was wonderful. Um, and it's brilliant. Yeah, it's just awesome. This one really surprised me. Cakes in Space. It's just awesome. 
Look at the pictures. I wasn't even going to read it when it turned out. I was like, what the hell is this? And then I read it and I couldn't stop. And it's just so funny. It's just awesome. Um, this one, Unstoppable by Liz Banks. It's just good. It's the third one in the series. And this series gets better and better. And I can't wait for more. I'm hoping there's more. Please tell me there's more, Liz. There should be more. They're awesome. Um, then the next Darcy Burdock. I love the next Darcy Burdock. I just love Darcy Burdock. It's just good. This one, Solitaire by Alice Osman. I read so much I can't tell you anything about it anymore because I can't remember because I read it really, really quickly in August. But I loved it. And again, it shows you young authors really knowing their stuff because it was just so spot on. I loved it. I just loved it. I loved it. Oh! Second American author. I feel like I've waited my entire life for this book. And it was just wonderful. Just wonderful. Oh, Josh was my new favourite. And I quite like St. Clair apart from the whole stereotyping English stuff. But this I loved. It's wonderful. And then followed up. That was all August. Up until August. Since August, I've only read two five-star books, which really tells you about the quality of my reading, why I have to go off on it in a moment. Um, since August, I've read these two books that are five-star. That's it. The rest of all those were the beginning of the year. So, this one, which is just awesome. I'm, I'm reading a lot of middle grade stuff this year, but this one's just good. Look at the pictures! I loved it. And again, it sort of appealed to that Enid Blyton sort of detective little bit of my brain and I thought it was wonderful and I want the second one now. I really do. I need some books to read. Decent books. Send them to me dudes, come on. And then finally, and this is probably a good thing this is until last because it's not out till 2015. <gasps> Look at the proofs! These proofs! David Flip, let's just talk about these proofs. Are wonderful. Yeah, they, they are, they're all quite plain, but they have this little belly band which has printed stuff that's relevant and it is just good. And then you go inside and it has this embossed thing. Look at the embossed. And then they all start and I just think they're wonderful. These turn up when I do this because I get so excited about all of them. I love you, David Ficklin Books. Yes, I do. Thank you, Phil, for sending to me. Yes, this book. This book is wonderful. On every single level, this book is just perfect. And you all need to go and buy it when it comes out in January because it is just one. And it makes you think. It's what Non, my lovely friend Non, would call a thinky book. Because it makes you think. And it's just, just wonderful. And you should just buy it. Because it sort of... Yeah, and it attacks those stereotypes and it really made me think about different people and how they experience life and it made me really feel for the characters and how the rubbish they have to deal with and I want everyone to read it to make them better people and not grotty people that is all really so um they are my five star reads i didn't count the reread of hunger games which i did which i enjoyed quite a lot and i didn't include all the graphic novels i read when i was having a bit of a grumpy day and couldn't be bothered to read anything um but yeah out of 200 books we have got probably about 20 so you've got 10 percent which are five star reads which i think is pretty good going um and i'm looking forward to seeing what 2015 brings right i'm back onto my sofa in my PJs. <laughs>